Hey, my people, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, then welcome. If you end up liking what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can stay up to date on what I got coming at y'all. Okay, so today we are going to do some super cute candy nails. So let's not waste no time. Let's go on and get into it. So first we are putting down our base colors. We are using royal pink here and we are using Barbie pink as well. And I don't recall the blue color, but I put it in the descriptions. These are Madam Glam. We are gonna put two coats of each and then we are going to put matte coat on all the fingers except for the middle. And we have our palette here because we are going to be making polka dots. We have our dotting tool. I found this on Amazon, I believe, to do big, huge dots. So we are going to put down big, huge dots and we are going to make these texture. So contrary to how you usually want to put down gel polish, we want these to have a lot of gel polish in these polka dots. So we can put them all across the nail in our big size. And then on the other side, you see that there is a smaller dot so we are going to use that to just go through our colors and make smaller polka dots down the nail. Then we have another smaller dotting tool so we can make smaller little polka dots. And again, we want to make sure these are wet so they have a lot of gel polish in them so they will soak up the acrylic powder that we're going to use to make them texture. Now we are going to move in our acrylic powder. I'm going to be using Young Nails Clear. And you can just use anything you want to just scoop them on there. Try not to hit it. I have done that before. So try to be careful with your scoops. Cover it all up. And then just let it sit for a minute so that the acrylic can sink down into that gel polish. So we let it sit for a sec. Then we can go ahead and put it in the lamp. This here, we have not put matte top coat on yet because we are going to do our French. So we are going to use the Barbie pink and I make my French by doing a line across, line up the middle, and then line up the sides. And once I have that um, middle line straightened out to make sure that it's in the actual middle, then we can do our bends on the side to draw in our smile line. And then I will fill it in and make sure I balance out that smile line to my liking. And once we got that all drawn in, then we can go ahead to our gel polish bottle and just go ahead and paint in the top. And we are going to do the same, but we are going to just do the smaller polka dot first. Not the super big one because we don't have a lot of nail real estate right now because we got the French. I did, before I did this, I did go ahead and matte out the nail using my matte top coat. And then we can go ahead and put in our polka dots. 
no right or wrong way to put on polka dots. If you want to do all big dots, all tiny dots, do you. Now we're going to get our acrylic again. And go ahead and shovel that in there. Let it sit for a minute. And then go ahead and put it in the lamp. And once they're out, you can go ahead and use your brush to go ahead and get off that powder. And now we are going to move to our candy stripe nail. And I wanted this to look, actually I was inspired by both of these, all of these nails from the charms that I got. I believe I got them off of AliExpress. They were super cute. So I'm like, let me do this pattern of these charms on a nail. You guys will see that later. But we're doing the same concept for the polka dots, but we're doing it in stripes. But we want these lines to be thick so that we can put the texture on top with the acrylic. And like I said, we're going to do this kind of like a peppermint candy where you would have the swirly kind of lines. But we are only going to do the top half of the nail because later we are going to be putting a cute big lollipop on the bottom of this. So I'm just going to go through this and we'll put the acrylic in at the end and I'll let you guys watch. Alright, so we are shoveling in our acrylic, letting it sit, and here we have the nails with all of the decoration on it. Now we get to put on the baubles, and this is my sweets little box <laughs> where I keep all my cute sweet charms. And as you see, this is what inspired the look by these two pieces of candy. And our big old lollipop. And that's all we need from there. And I got this gel, I believe, on AliExpress too. And we are going to use this. I always use some kind of 3D gel like this to put on my big old charms. Because it really gives them some staying power. I suggest if you're using this to use gloves, don't handle it with your bare hands. We're going to roll that up to a ball and we can just plop that down. And as you see, this design matches the design on this nail. And this is the one where we are going to plop down our big old lollipop. Then we're gonna plop down our candy piece and we are coming along. All right, now we are gonna do nail sugar. I always love my favorite glitter is from Sets Nail Co. Y'all go check her out. I think I say it every time I use it, but go check her out. But we are putting down base gel and this is a glitter press. Some people do sugars. And this is the kind of sugar, but we're going to press it in because we want to top coat it. So we sprinkle it and then we press it in with our glove. 
to try to get a nice flat appearance from the glitter. And then we go ahead and bake it. And you see this is a different brush than the other brush I use because this is my glitter brush. So I don't contaminate stuff with my other brush. And then we use our file. One of my go-to files, Tammy Taylor, is amazing. Peel and stick, look it up. So I use that to make sure we get our rough ends all done. And then we will top it. And I always top these with, with hard gel so that it's a little thicker so I don't have to put on multiple coats. And it will also still settle into being um, self-leveling. And again, I have a different pot for this than my other gel. I've taken this out because it's contaminated by sparkles. Always keep your sparkly stuff separate from your stuff where it's not sparkly so that you don't have sparkles on stuff that you don't want sparkles on. These sparkles get everywhere. So after this, we are gonna top coat and then we are gonna reveal our sweet treat nails. How adorable, guys. No, you cannot eat them, but I do have these for sale up on my website. I will put the link below if you want to grab this nail set. And of course, I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And of course, as always, remember, kindness is key. Be who you be and dream big. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.